Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome. Today we are going to start another series of lecture explaining a very important topic that is inflammation. In this series of videos, I will be explaining about different types of inflammation, different events that are happening uh, in the process of inflammation, cellular events, vascular events and their mechanism and the role of different mediators in the inflammation. All these things will be discussed step by step. So I assure you that if you stay with me till the end of this uh, series of lecture, all your concepts related to the inflammation, either it is acute inflammation or chronic inflammation, they will be very much clear. So let's start from the definition. So inflammation is not a bad thing basically. It's a, a protective response. As you can see, it's a protective response of our vascularized tissue against the foreign particle, against the damaged tissue, against any invading uh, pathogen. So whenever a pathogen enters inside the body, a protective response of that particular tissue, and that tissue must be vascularized. It must have supply of blood vessels. So, so that uh, the protective response of that uh, vascularized tissue by our immune system against the offending agent, it will be called as uh, inflammation. This detailed mechanism of the protection of the vascularized tissue against the offending or invading organism, this detailed mechanism will be called as inflammation. So here are basically five steps. Let's discuss one by one. The first step is identification. For example, there's a tissue and a foreign particle is a bacteria. A foreign particle has entered inside the body. The local uh, immune cells in the tissue, for example, there are macrophages. Obviously, macrophages are always present in the, inside the tissue. First of all, they will recognize. The first step is identification or recognition. They will recognize this pathogen that this is a foreign particle. It's not my own body cell. It's a foreign particle and it may cause damage. The point is how macrophages or our immune cells they will recognize this uh, uh, invading bacteria or uh, uh, pathogen as a foreign particle. Obviously, on the surface of the pathogen, there are certain kind of proteins like peptidoglycan, like in the case of fungi, there could be chitin or there's some other lipopolysaccharides. Uh, they would be present on the surface of the pathogen. And these molecules that are present on the surface of pathogens by using these molecules, our immune system will recognize it as a foreign particle. So, the name of these particle, particles which are present on the foreign uh, uh, pathogen, they are called as PAMS. Pathogen Associated Molecular Patterns. So, these PAMS or these uh, molecules are present on the surface of the pathogen and they will be recognized by using special kind of receptor that are present on the host cell. For example, the most important family is toll like receptor. Toll like receptor 2, 4, 5. There are different types of toll like toll, toll like receptors. These toll like receptors. These toll like receptors are present on the immune cells. By using these toll like receptors, this immune system will recognize this particle, this cell as a foreign cell. Because it will recognize these PAMs. And whenever the PAMs will be present, it will consider it as a foreign particle. So the first step is identification. Now, the second point is recruitment. Recruitment. Now, what is recruitment? When it will recognize this uh, bacteria as a foreign particle, it will release certain kind of cytokines. Certain kind of cytokines like interleukin, uh, interleukin 8, it will release interleukin 1. Uh, tumor necrosis factor, interferon, so different kind of cytokines will be released. Now these cytokines, they will recruit, they will call the immune cells, neutrophils or other immune cells that are present in the nearby blood vessels, they will cause the movement of these immune cells into the infected tissue, so that the more and more white blood cells will reach in the damaged tissue. Now this point is called as recruitment and it is being the process of recruitment is being done by the cytokines and these cytokines 
are released by our immune response, immune immune cells in response to foreign particle or in response to any tissue damage, tissue damage, any tissue damage, any tissue damage that is happening over there because of some physical trauma, because of some heat or any other physical injury or this tissue damage can be because of some toxins uh, or uh, because of some enzymes that are being released by the foreign particle. So whenever there is a tissue damage, whenever there is a pathogen, macrophages or immune cells rec recognize them and they will release certain cytokines and these cytokines will attract the other uh, immune uh, cells passing through the nearby blood vessel to reach to the target tissue. Now this step is called as recruitment. Now third step is destruction. Now different kind of neutrophils and other immune cells, uh, more and more macrophages they have reached over there. Or these are the neutrophils and macrophages that, are, that have reached into that tissue from the nearby blood vessel. Now what they are going to do? They will cause the destruction or elimination. And how can they, how can they do it? Obviously by using uh, by phagocytosis. What they will do? They will phagocytose it. And once they will phagocytose inside the lysosome, certain lysosomal enzymes will be present. These lysosomal enzymes will be released and that phagocytosed or engulfed or captured pathogen will be destroyed or it will be damaged and all the debris that will be uh, remained in the damaged area they will be for, then eliminated by these macrophages or uh, neutrophils or other immune cells as well okay uh, it depends upon the type of type of infection which immune cell is going to be uh, come over there for example if it is a parasitic infection the immune cell that will be moving will be the eosinophil if it's a bacterial infection neutrophil will come over there if it's a viral infection uh, t lymphocytes will co come over there so depending upon the type of infection these recruitment of the uh, white blood cell will take place so this is a uh, point number three now termination termination is it's not like that the when the process of inflammation will start it will keep on moving it will keep on moving and it will keep on moving what can happen what will happen that once the uh, process is done once the inflammation has been one the once the destruction and elimination of pathogen or offending agent has been taken place now we want that inflammation to stop these white blood cells should stop performing their function now this is called as a termination and in, in uh, inside our body there are certain anti-inflammatory mechanism as well to stop the process of inflammation to terminate the process of inflammation because when the termination is not required anymore, the process of termination will be uh, process of inflammation will be stopped by using certain uh, cytokines like uh, interleukin 10 is an anti-inflammatory cytokine. Similarly, uh, TGF transforming growth factor is an anti-inflammatory cytokine. So these cytokines will be secreted, and the process of inflammation will be stopped. So this is the point number three. And after at the end of the process, tissue repair will be done. In in uh, in the case of countering. Uh, the pathogen or the foreign particle some tissue damage has also been uh, done over there by our immune cells they were basically damaging they were basically causing the damage to the foreign particle but some tissue damage has also been done by our immune system immune cells over there and the last step will be the tissue repair now the tissue repairing will be done the details of all these steps details of the uh, tissue repair and detail of uh, 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 recruitment and destruction it will be discussed in the later part of the uh, videos so stay connected i hope today's lecture is clear in the next video we will start from the uh, types of inflammation acute and chronic and then we will uh, keep on moving uh, to the events cellular events and vascular events stay with me thank you so much